Hey guys, this is a video and my graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform basic matrix operations on the TI-84 plus CE. In this video, I'm going to go through some basics and in the future videos, I'm going to show more options. So without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's just quickly recap some basics about matrices. Matrices are named based on the number of columns and the number of rows. So the convention for writing the matrices is number of rows, which is this way, by the number of columns. So if we have m rows and n columns, then our matrix is m by n. To add or subtract matrices, they must have the same dimensions, meaning they must have the same number of rows and columns. For instance, both of these can be added because they're both 2 by 2. Next, in order to multiply matrices, the number of columns in your first matrix has to equal the number of rows in the second matrix. For example, we have a 3 by 2 matrix being multiplied by a 2 by 3 matrix. Here there are two columns and here there are two rows. So you'll notice that the inside numbers will be the same. So we have two here as the number of columns and we have two here as the number of rows. If we were to write them next to each other, the first one coming first and the second dimension coming after, then you'll notice that the inside numbers have to be the same. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's see how the calculator can help us with matrices. Right above the X to the negative 1 button, you'll see the matrix written in blue. So that means we're going to have to press 2nd and the X to the negative 1 button to access the matrix menu. Afterwards, you'll see letters in brackets. The, uh, the brackets just mean that um, it's a matrix. So A is a matrix, B is a matrix, and so on. The first uh, menu is just names, so if you arrow right, then there's a few different uh, operations you can do with them. We'll, we'll work with the determinant option, which is DET, a little bit later in the video, and we'll do other ones in future videos. Um, if you arrow right one more time, that's the edit menu, and uh, you can edit any of these matrices, and I'm going to edit matrix A. Since the cursor is already on uh, A, I'm just going to press enter and this comes up. By default, the matrix is one by one. I'm going to change that to a two by two matrix. So when the cursor is blinking on one, I'm just going to type in two on the number pad and press enter. Then the cursor is blinking on the second one. So I'm going to press two again on the number pad and press enter. Now you notice that it's a two by two matrix and I can uh, adjust the inputs. I'm going to make this a very simple matrix. So I'm just going to do uh, one, press one on the number pad and press enter. And that's gonna take us to the second one. Press two, enter. And then that's gonna take us to the third one press 3, enter, that's the fourth one, so we're going to type in 4, enter. Don't forget to press enter after the fourth one. So after you've done all that, I'm going to do second mode to quit, and I'm going to go back to the matrix menu and edit matrix B. So we're going to do second, uh, the x and negative 1, we're just going to arrow over to this and this time we're going to uh, edit matrix B. So B is number two so we're just going to press number two on the number pad and B is selected. And we're also going to make this a two by two matrix uh, following the same procedure we did last time. So this is going to be two and then press enter and then the cursor will go on to the next one and press two again and enter we have a two by two matrix uh, and the numbers I'm going to type in here are one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, eight, enter. So it's 
1, 2, 3, and H. And don't forget to press enter after, uh, after the 8. So we're going to do second and mode to quit. Now we're going to press second and the x and negative 1 again. And I'm going to select A under the names. I'm not going to go and edit. Just under names, I'm just going to select A by pressing enter. And A comes up on the computation screen. And then I'm just going to press enter again and it shows what the matrix is. So you can check if uh, it was entered correctly. I'm going to do the same thing with B, so second matrix, and B is number two, so just press number two on the number pad, and B shows up, and then press enter, and double check that both of these are correct, and, and they are. So now we're going to add matrix A to matrix B. So since I have them on the screen, I can either go up and select them this way and just scroll up and once the cursor is on the matrix, press enter and then add and then select the other one, press enter. I can do it that way or I can go back to the matrix menu and select them that way. So second, uh, x to negative one, select matrix A by pressing enter that comes up and then press plus second uh, the matrix menu again and then I'm going to select uh, B so just press number two on the number pad so I have A plus B when I press enter the matrix comes up and uh, we can or we can do subtraction also but this time I'm not going to go back in the matrix menu I'm just going to select this from here arrow up and then I'm just going to change the sign to a minus and press enter and then we have our matrix when the two are subtracted similarly we could do multiplication so just arrow up uh, enter and then change this from subtraction to multiplication and there we have it and we could also multiply any one of these matri uh, matrices by a constant so let's say multiply 10 times uh, matrix A, so second matrix, and just press enter, and then enter again. So we have uh, matrix A multiplied by 10. Now let's say you wanted to find the determinant of a matrix. What you have to do is first go or press second, uh, x to negative 1 go to go to the matrix menu, then arrow right to the math and then select uh, DET with the open parentheses so press enter since that's the first one it will select that uh, then this comes up we're going to go back into the matrix menu second uh, x to negative one and we're going to select uh, matrix A uh, press enter and then close off the parentheses and press enter again and that's the determinant of uh, matrix A. Now let's say you wanted to select or find the determinant of a matrix that you found uh, through some type of operation such as multiplication. So what you're going to have to do is uh, second x to negative one select your determinant uh, option and afterwards you're going to have to arrow up to whatever operation you did but don't select the answer select the entry select, select the entry that you want and then press enter and close off the parentheses press enter again and we'll get the determinant there you have it these are the basic operations of matrices on the TI-84 plus CE I hope this video helps in future videos, we'll cover more features. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Also check out the differential equations with linear algebra series. And until next time, take care guys.